In his wisdom, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda put up the CCTV system to fight crime. CCTV has supported in the fight of crime uh, in the entire country. We have, uh, ho we have been hosting national events like the NAM and K77. Not even chicken was stolen. The commanders in the command center can have visibility at every aspect of criminality going on within the country and they can seamlessly coordinate with the field operators such so that they can apprehend, uh, apprehend the perpetrators. What we see today is that we are policing the fourth industrial revolution. The population has gone very high. There are different types of crimes which have evolved, but without enhancement in technology, we can never fight this crime. What is important today is that the human being has limits, but these technologies go beyond those limits. For instance, if it is raining, you cannot have a police officer standing in the rain at night in an isolated area. But if we have a camera in that isolated area, can have visibility on what is going on. And that has assisted grossly in isolated areas and in trying to fight crime. We are able to conduct investigations using cameras. We can track which which routes in and out of the city, who came in at what time in the city and did what and moved out of the city. When it comes to traffic management, you normally see cars flowing uh, in, a normal, uh, in a normal way. But behind the scene, there are people who are seamlessly coordinating with the field officers to ensure that jam is released at particular road junction. For, for you, you just get at the junction and you just stay away through. But behind the scene, there's somebody seated in the command center coordinating those activities. As uh, the director has already mentioned, uh, we are a government institution that uh, specializes in digital skilling, research and innovation, as well as uh, consulting services. Uh, our biggest role is actually to ensure that uh, the skills that are given to the different stakeholders, including amongst others, the Uganda Police Force, are commensurate with the technologies that are you know, emerging. Uh, as you are aware, uh, the director has talked about um, CC camera and other technologies that have been implemented. We need to ensure that uh, the utilizers and the implementers and the beneficiaries have sufficient knowledge, skills and uh, competencies to use those technologies to do whatever their role is. So uh, Uganda Police Force and uh, we have had a very good relationship with the force. Actually most of our alumni are working with the, with the police force and uh, we are looking at strengthening that collaboration to ensure number one that uh, as you might be aware we have um, a fourth industrial revolution technologies uh, strategy for the country in addition to the digital transformation roadmap and the Uganda digital vision where we are looking at you know uh, ensuring that uh, we develop information technology for the country but UICT is specifically charged with uh, the capacity building function of those different areas so we are looking at uh, the emerging things where we have um, machine learning, artificial intelligence, data science and analytics, image processing, text translation and all those other things that can be used in policing. But also another area that we are looking at is uh, utilization of um, advanced technologies to be able to teach. We, have, uh, we are setting up a center which is called the Augmented and Virtual Reality Center, uh, supported by the government of Uganda. And one of the beneficiaries will actually be the Uganda Police Force. These technologies assist in teaching and ensuring that uh, the participants of the training understand the technologies very well using simple um, ways to actually come up with conceptual understanding of otherwise complex uh, you know, aspects of the, the technologies that we are talking about. So really, that's what we are, we are here. 
uh, to do. Uh, we are going to revive our memorandum of uh, understanding between uh, Uganda Institute of ICT and Uganda Police Force. And then thereafter we shall um, dive into delivering uh, the different uh, areas that we would have agreed on.